What's going on, everybody? It's Chris Reynolds. Man, it is Wisdom Wednesday. And I uh, was thinking about doing something a little different today. There's so many times that I dive into a particular scripture or maybe a truth that um, has stuck out to me. And, and there's, I mean, the list goes on. But I was thinking today as I was driving around and got the opportunity to go to a couple listing appointments, um, you know, do some videos, do some photo shoots. And just kind of a normal day, what you do as a, a realtor in this industry. But as I was driving around, I was, I was thinking about music and how there were so many moments in my life where I can tell you when I heard this song, what I was doing, when I uh, felt this away, what I listened to. And um, and as my as, as my life kind of evolved uh, as I got older and the path that I got on was a little different um, and I started finding myself coming closer to the Lord as I uh, was growing up. Worship became a big deal to me. And there's so many songs out there and so many incredible lyrics out there and and verses, you know, even going back to the Bible, the songs in Scripture uh, that are just extremely touching. But one of the ones that always just really just changes the game for me um, is called Nothing Else. Nothing Else by Cody Carnes. And... Uh, for many people, it's just another song, and 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 sure, there may be better songs. Um, there's certainly worse songs, uh, but every time I hear this song, man, God just kind of just begins to transition my mind again of this moment because it says things like, "I'm caught up in your presence." I'm not here for the blessings. I'm, I'm sorry if I've gone through the motions with you or if I've come with my agenda. I just want to be with you, Jesus. I want to go back to where we started. And I just thought about that, man. How, I mean, what a raw lyric of just understanding like how many times in our life that we step in with an agenda. I do all the time. I go through the motions, even sometimes in my prayer life of when I talk to God, like, man, it just seems so robotic and just rehearsed. And and I just remember that moment where I came to know the Lord um, and how I wanted nothing else but to sit at the feet of Jesus and to get caught up in this moment with him, just like Cody sings about in this song. And it was about nothing else but what he had done for me and the realization of what that was and the impact it was on my life. And then for some reason, we begin to things transpire in our life. And it's like we enter these relationships um, and conversations with Jesus and it becomes about us. And man, what an incredible opportunity to stop for a moment and go, I want to remember back where it started. I want to remember that moment where I knew I had nothing to give to you. And that I realized that you sent your son, God, to die on a cross for me. And there was nothing else I needed in this world. No other prayer answered. No other directional change. No other blessing. That was enough. And I've talked about this before with so many people, but... Until the cross becomes enough in our lives, we're just not there yet. I mean, we're just, not that we're ever, this whole process of sanctification, and you can get really wordy on some of these things, but coming to know the Lord more and more in the process of transitioning into uh, eventually eternity with Him, it all started when He just loved us enough to give us his son and Jesus died upon a cross so that you and I would need nothing else. And so I began just asking myself today, man, God, help me remember, help me remember that moment where all I wanted was you. Help me remember that moment where all I needed was you. Um, and this life has gotten so comfortable and maybe this isn't your story. This could be just mine, but uh, you can live life, a pretty comfortable life, pretty uh, insane life, a life that people would say you're blessed, a life that people would say you have everything you all um, you could ever need without Jesus in this world. You could. People do it all the time. And I ask myself, am I, am I recognizably different than that person? Would my life change any bit? Would people notice any bit? And it just was convicting to me. And I want to get back to the place of 
where what I really care about is not my agenda, not my, you know, entering a conversation with what I need today, but get back to the mindset of God, if you didn't show up another time in my life, if you didn't move, if I didn't hear you, if I didn't see you, if my prayers did not get answered, if things began to fall apart around me, your cross is enough for me. I just want you, nothing else, nothing else. I don't need anything else from you, God, because there's nothing you could give me more than what has already been given to me. That's the gospel. But man, isn't it so easy in this is a chaos and the hustle and bustle and the desire for more. Gosh, the abundance that we desire all the time. We just lose sight of that sometimes. And so I just pray that this week, uh, maybe you'll give this song a listen. Um, It's called Nothing Else by Cody Carnes um, and the Belonging Company. But um, listen to the words. Let it kind of marinate. uh, And maybe it'll bring you back to a place kind of where I am today of your cross is enough, Jesus. I'm sorry that I've, I've come to you this long and just gone through the motions with you. You deserve more than that. And I didn't deserve what you gave me, but you gave it to me. And so maybe, just maybe, we can begin moving in that direction again uh, where his presence is all we need. Um, his cross was enough for me. And that is my story today. And hopefully that becomes your story this week as well. Have a fantastic Wednesday. I can't wait to see you guys face to face, hug your neck. Uh, anything that we can do as a team for you, I say it all the time. We just want to be a part of your story and serve you like Jesus has served us. Have a great Wednesday.